Let's get a quick take on Colorado's 2018 gubernatorial race getting a new candidate this week. Doug Robinson, the nephew of former presidential nominee Mitt Romney, announced his campaign in a letter to Republican activists on Monday. Patty Cahoon from Westward, despite the famous name lineage, what chances do you give Robinson here in Colorado? Well, I think it's appropriate that it's a quick take because I don't think he's going to last all that long. He's positioning himself as an outsider, but the nephew of Mitt Romney is not really much of an outsider. I just think George Brockler will eat him for lunch. Joey Bunch with ColoradoPolitics.com. He's running as an outsider in a state that Trump lost. So is that going? Is that is that tie going to help him or hurt him? Well, that does make him an outsider. I think it'll help him because it comes with uh, you know, it comes with political infrastructure. It comes with donors. But but I have to disagree with Patty. I think Walker Stapleton is going to eat him for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Just depends on on on, on uh, uh, who's at the table. Speaking of who's at the table, Ben Gelt joins us, public affairs consultant. When you look at the Republicans in Colorado, uh, it's a little divided. They it, it, they're good about fighting amongst themselves. When you see names like Stapleton, you see names like Brockler, probably your your top two. That's not discounting everybody else, but those are getting the most press. An outsider candidate like this, who does it give the most problems for? You know, I think it probably doesn't cause anybody too much of a problem, uh, regardless of whose nephew you may be, Romney or Bush. Uh, I think there's a reason why we have front runners, and I think we can expect to see Stapleton and Brockler raise most of the money and suck up most of the oxygen. Michael Fields joins us, State Director of the Americans for Prosperity Colorado. Uh, Michael, how far right do you think Colorado Republicans are in wanting, where, wanting their next gubernatorial candidate? Well, I think when you look at it, they want to win more than anything. And so I think, you know, a conservative will probably win the primary, but it's got to be a conservative uh, that can play to the center in some way. And so I agree that probably the front runners right now are Treasurer Stapleton, are George Brockler. And I think, you know, one point is this, this race isn't going to lack money, uh, you know, especially if Jared Polis gets in on the Democratic side. There's going to be a lot of money. Uh, and I think really nobody knows at this point what's going to happen.